All right, so let's get right into today's topic. All right, and uh, like I said, we're on day 1,567. Can you see that the days are ticking by? But guess what? Every single day that we go, every day that we go, we are growing. All right, so I want us to deal with the topic this morning entitled, Be Serious. Be Serious. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 7 states the following. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. Be serious and watchful in your prayers. Now, what does that mean? It means the following. Many times we will pray. Many times we will pray and we will pray frivolous prayers. Not that it's not important for me. But I'm not that serious about my prayers. It has become like a nursery rhyme. I pray the same thing every day, so I'm not serious. And I don't mean it with intent anymore. It literally just goes off my lips because I do it every day. You know, it was like when I was growing up as a, as a small child, my mother taught me this um, prayer that we used to pray at night. Gentle Jesus, meek and mild. Look upon this something child. All right, I can't remember the whole thing now. But the point is, it is a nursery rhyme. It is not a godly prayer that is taken seriously. Now, many people just pray because they pray so often and they're not putting in an earnestness behind their prayer. I want to tell you, every single prayer in this season and in these days need to be serious. I need to be serious and I need to go in with an intent of bringing a change every time I pray. So please do not um, take prayer lightly in this season. Right? Peter says very clearly that we're coming closer to the end of time. And if he was close to the end of time, we are very close to the end of time. And as you can see, and you can see it all over the place, things are changing very rapidly and they are heading into a negative direction. And so therefore, <clears throat> the church of Jesus Christ is needed far more than we've ever been needed before. And so we need to stand strong. We need to stand solid. We need to stand secure. And so we need to be serious in our prayers. When we pray, we need to be able to break things, change things, turn things in Jesus' mighty name. And so I want to challenge you. Every single prayer, we've been praying for our companies, we've been praying for our families, we've been praying for our government. There's certain things that we've been praying a lot over. My question to you is this, is are you serious when you're praying? Are you serious when you declare the declaration? Every time we declare it, are you actually seriously calling that in? Or are you just repeating it like a puppet? Now, I honestly can't say that I repeat it like a puppet because I still haven't memorized it. Can you believe it? After all this time, I still haven't memorized our, uh, our declaration. All right, people think it's very funny. I think it's funny too. I've got lots of people helping me with that. Somehow I just don't get it stuck. I can memorize scripture. I can memorize sermons. I can memorize lots of stuff. Yes, I'm just getting stuck on this declaration. Anyway, but there are a lot of young people that help me out many times. In fact, in my office where I'm actually recording from, I've got it on the board behind the screen, a big board with it written out for me. So I'll tell you what, it is. there's no excuse. I should have done this long ago. But let me tell you this. I need to be serious about my prayers. I need to be serious about what God is doing. I need to be serious in the fact that God wants to use me. So saints, don't take these things lightly. All right? Let's believe God and let's do what God has called us to do. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. 
And so this morning when we come around the table, let us ask God to help us to be serious soldiers of warfare, serious in our prayers, serious in the things of God, and don't allow the devil to water it down or minimize it. Let's pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. And Lord, I ask you that you'll move by your spirit in our lives. I ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive or intention. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you that as we come before you, Lord, that you will help us to bring an earnestness and a seriousness around our prayer life. Father, that we will pray. Lord, that we will pray with intent. Lord, that we will pray knowing that things are going to shift and change in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray that as we take of the elements right now, that you will minister to each one of us. And the Holy Spirit, make this so real to us. Lord, that we will not play games anymore. But Lord, that we will genuinely come and move what needs to be moved in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we release the dynamous power of God over our physical bodies and command every symptom to go. Thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health. And Lord, that every form of sickness is gone. Thank you, Lord, that by your stripes we were healed. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I'm so excited to be with you this morning. I tell you what. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So it is Wednesday. And so I trust that as we get into the word, as we've got into the word, that you are ready to do what God has called you to do. So I want to remind you that it's small groups tonight. So seven o'clock, get ready for the Zoom session. Okay, for those that are coming on to Zoom. And remember, if you meet in live locations this week, we're back to small groups. So please Go and meet, go and grow, go and see God work in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And so I'm so excited about what God is going to do and what he is doing in our nation. As the Christians stand up, we are going to see a major thing happen in the name of Jesus Christ. So keep praying for us. Keep praying that God will give us the wisdom and the understanding to do what we need to do. So please know that God is busy with something amazing in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. So right now we are going to pray. We are going to pray over our nation and we're going to pray over Israel. Lord, right now, I thank you that we can pray over our businesses. Lord, we lift up our businesses this morning. Thank you, Lord, that there is cash flow. Thank you, Lord, that there is no delay in any contracts. Thank you, Lord, for supernatural contracts, supernatural business. Lord, we release the blessing of God over our businesses and companies today. Thank you, Lord, that the businesses are blessed because we are there. Lord, we release the power. We release the blessing and we release the contracts in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for the economy of South Africa. Thank you, Lord, that the rand will get stronger, that foreign investment will flow into this nation. Lord, I thank you that you will raise South Africa up to where South Africa needs to be. Lord, I know that you are in control and you will do what you need to do in this nation. But God, we call forth the prophetic words over this, excuse me, over this nation. The promises over this nation we call forth today and say, Lord, come and have your way in this nation in Jesus' name. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem this morning. Lord, we pray for Israel. We pray for the IDF, Lord, that they will finish this war quickly. And Lord, I pray for the families that don't have homes right now. Lord, that they'll be able to get back to their homes and back to normal civilization. Father, I pray your blessing over Israel and everything that is going on there. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Folks, remember this. Keep hitting the share button. Please, we need it to get past the algorithms, the new algorithms. Amen. All right. Let's get to our declaration this morning. 
In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and be a blessing wherever you go. I love you lots.